Hey guys, I'm Diego from Nightcall Table. Welcome back to the next episode of What Do You Recommend? So this series is all about you guys asking me questions on Hey, I work in this industry and I, I need a light for X. What do you recommend? So today's question is pretty specific. It's from Wang Wei Yuan. So I work in construction sites, mostly underground. I need a light for site inspection and systems testing and commissioning usage. What would you recommend? So from here on out, it can go both ways, right? When you need a, something for site inspection, you either need to see very far which then I'll uh, go down the route of uh, long distance lights and then either that or you're looking for in his case uh, close range work so then we go down the route of a uh, flat light okay so he mentioned we we'll need to see too far perhaps 100 to 150 meters is good enough I guess wide area will be more useful for my scenario this is a very serious mistake that most people make when buying any kind of lights is they misjudge the distance that they are working in okay get the right beam pattern for your use if you get the wrong beam pattern, it makes your work harder. So let's say I'm searching for something on the P30. I have to look from here, to point here, to here. So I have to literally aim the beam to look at something, all right? So if you're with a group of people, what's more effective? Everyone looking at the same spot or I just flood the place with light. Everyone can do their work, check their things. Once you're done, and then go. All right, so that's the immediate difference between, you know, I can see everything. I can immediately spot the mistake versus I have to search for the right thing. All right, so that is how beam pattern affects your work. Getting the wrong light for your work will drastically affect how efficient you are in, in your actual work. Okay, so now that's out of the way, we go through the three best floodlights we have for this purpose. Okay, first up, of course, is the E4K. All right, 400, 4,400 lumens, this is how it looks like. This only has a front, front button switch, so press and hold to turn on and it will cycle through the brightness. So once you hit the brightness that you want, let's say I'm going at low brightness, I let go, then it will work at this brightness. So if I want to see far something or, or have a burst of light, I just press and hold, boom, 4,000 lumens. Once I let go, it's back to normal. So this is good for navigating. I walk around the site. Once I reach the location, I want to check, boom. Once I'm done, let go, and then I carry on. Next site, check, let go, and then carry on. Okay, this saves your battery. Instead of cycling through to the lowest to the brightest mode every time you reach to a new job site. So this is the Nightcore E4K. If you, look, you want to turn it off, just press and then check out the front. This, you know immediately is a flat beam pattern because of the four LEDs and the shallow reflectors. If you compare it with uh, the P30, which has a long beam, you can see immediately how to tell when a light has a flat or a long beam pattern. So one LED, very deep and very big. Multiple LEDs, very shallow reflectors. Okay, this is a flat light. This is how you tell a flat light from a long beam distance light. Okay, so don't be fooled by specs. Don't go into the shop and ask, hey, I want the brightest light possible. And then they give you the a long troll light, which is super bright. But then what you actually need is a flat light. So don't make that mistake, okay? So that's it. That's the first light. The next light we're going to go to is the TM9K. So it, get, it only gets brighter from here, all right? 9,500 lumens. Same, we are still looking for something compact and small. So compared to the E4K, here's how it looks like. Okay, not that much of a difference except the front. Okay, nine LEDs instead of four LEDs. It's literally one LED per 1,000 lumens, okay, out the front. Okay, it's still small. Look at the tail cap, it works like this. Strobe lever switch for immediate access to 9,000 lumens is insanely bright. And then your silent signals if you need them. And you turn on, then just click the rear button to cycle through the brightness. One hand to control everything, so you don't need to you know, fiddle with the front button switch. Alright, so again, same thing. The good thing about this is you can have it on low once you reach a place you want to inspect. Blast it, check. Once you're done, let go, and then carry on. TM9K. So if you're worried about retention issues, so if you go into a construction site, you fear you might drop this. So what you can do is attach the NTR10, the finger loop. So there you go. So this is again, it's a very hard to lose this light. Now you have it this way. So immediately you can see how it works this way. All right, on and then access to the stroke. It's very simple access. So that's it for the TM9K. Now we move on to the last king of flat lights, the TM10K. Okay, so you rarely see this around because it hovers around the $500 price range. But immediately, once you see the light, you know why. It is instantly compact. This is the holster. Okay, out of the holster, 
deep pocket carry clip. Look at the size of this. Now I'm going to compare it with the E4K, alright? Similar size. Front, six LEDs instead of the four LEDs. That's why you get up to 10,000 lumens. Side switch here, on and off, and mode selection and the intelligent display here. So if you look at the display, it tells you all everything you need to know. Battery life, uh, runtime, temperature, and of course, if you change modes in front, you can see, you know, the immediately tells you what lumen you're at. And if you use the back switch for your turbo, 10,000 lumens, it has a countdown timer. So the 10,000 lumens only lasts for 7 seconds. Okay, so this is to avoid overheating the light. So once it's gone through 7 seconds, it stays at 1,000 lumens. If you want the turbo boost again, just press and then you will run the 7 seconds again. Alright? So this prevents the light from overheating so you don't burn a hole through your pants. 10,000 lumens out the front generates a lot, a lot of heat. Let's say I'm running at uh, 300 lumens, I navigate, I get to where I want to inspect, blast it, 10,000 lumens, check, once you're done, let go, and then you make your way to the next side. Alright, so that's it. This is the TM10K. Incredibly compact and it packs a uh, whopping, whopping amount of brightness, alright? So, if you use this light out at your job site or in your teams and all that, you will never have a person not ask you where you got this light from because the sheer size and brightness of it is literally unheard of to many people, alright? So that's it. We've covered the three best flood lights, the E4K, TM9K, and the last one was the TM10K, alright? So when looking for lights that, you know, for inspection and safety, always know the distance that you're working on first before just going for the brightest light. Okay, so buying the wrong kind of beam pattern will affect uh, the way you work or how efficiently you can work. Alright, if you have any more questions, just comment down below. Hey, I work in X industry. What do you recommend for X? And if we do answer your question, we will send you a tube 2.0 light. Alright, that's it. MJ signing out.